The Ice in the Bottle by Howard R. Garris Hal and Mab were so excited hearing their father speak about a new secret that they could hardly eat their supper. They had many questions. Hal climbed up on one knee of his father and Mab on the other. Now, Daddy, please tell us the secret, begged the little girl. Tell us what makes water freeze, how it gets cold, and what makes us warm when we run, added Hal. My goodness, what a lot of questions, he laughed. Well, let me see if it's going to be freezing cold to tell you, or the secret will be useless, he said. He went to the door outside, which hung an instrument called thermometer. I guess you've seen a thermometer. It's a glass tube fastened to a piece of wood. But inside is a thin, shiny column, which is mercury. Some have mercury colored red, so it can easily be seen. Mercury doesn't freeze unless you live at the North Pole. Is it cold enough? asked Hal. Not quite, but the mercury is going down the tube, his father answered. Well, Daddy, asked Mab, have you thought of a way to tell us what makes the shiny stuff in the, in the, oh, I can't say that big word. Oh. She finished with a sigh. Daddy Blake laughed. You want to know what makes the mercury in the thermometer go down? It's the cold. Cold makes it shrink. In hot weather, mercury swells and creeps up inside the little glass tube. In winter, mercury shrinks down, just as it's doing tonight. Will it get cold enough so you can tell us the secret? Hal said anxiously. We'll try it and see. I'll fill a bottle with water and keep it on the back porch. If it freezes by morning, I'll tell you the secret, said his father. Oh, do we have to wait until morning? Mab said disappointedly. That won't be long, laughed her father. You can hardly keep your eyes open. Go to bed, and it'll soon be morning. Daddy Blake took a bottle and filled it with water. He put the cork in tightly and twisted some wires over the top. What are the wires for? asked Hal. So the eyes, which will freeze inside the bottle, won't push out the cork, he explained. Now off to bed. Hal and Mab didn't want to go to bed, though they were sleepy. But Mama Blake tucked them snugly under the covers. Daddy Blake fixed the furnace fire for the night. Next he opened the package he had brought home. Something inside jingled, clanked, and shone in the lamplight as brightly as silver. Aunt Lolly asked what it was. That's the children's secret. Their ice skates, he answered, wrapping the package up again. Hal was up first in the morning, but Mab soon followed him. They wanted to get the bottle. Oh, it's too cold for you to go out until you are warmly dressed, cried Daddy. I'll bring the bottle in so you can see it. Oh, look, cried Hal, for the bottle was broken into several pieces. Standing up on the board on which it had been set was a solid, clear piece of ice, just the shape of the glass bottle. Oh, somebody broke our bottle cried Mab. Now we can't hear the secret. Daddy Blake laughed. Yes, the eyes broke it. I told you last night that heat made things larger and cold made them smaller, he said. But sometimes, as you see now, freezing cold makes water expand. As long as there was only water in the bottle, the glass wasn't broken. As it got colder in the night, the water froze and swelled up. The eyes tried to push the cork out of the bottle, just as you would try to push up the lid of a box if you were shut up inside one. I guess the wires over the cork 
wouldn't let the eyes push it out, spoke Hal. Right, Daddy Blake answered. So, as the eyes couldn't lift out the cork, it swelled to the sides, pushed out really hard and broke the bottle. The glass fell away and left a little statue of eyes, just the shape of the bottle. How wonderful, cried Mab. Her blue eyes open wide. Yes, it is, Daddy Blake said. There's scarcely anything that can withstand the swelling of freezing ice. If you filled a big, hollow cannonball with water and let it freeze, the ice would burst the iron. It burst our milk bottle once, said Aunt Lolly. Yes, spoke Daddy Blake. That's why, on cold mornings, the milkman raises the tin top on the bottle. That gives the frozen milk a chance to swell up out of the top and saves the bottle from cracking. Is it cold enough for you to tell us the secret? asked Al. I think so, he answered, with a queer twinkle in his eyes. As the water in the bottle is frozen, the pond will soon be covered with ice, he said. We need ice to make you the secret. Oh, I just wonder what it is, cried Mab, clapping her hands. I think I can guess, spoke Hal. 